come on. Let's go on an adventure. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. I really don't want to go. Let's see what's over here. Into the unknown. What is that? More bullets, thankfully. Tunnel is no, or the tunnel no longer leads to the quarry or the rail yard. I mean, it does. I just had an intermittent explosive episode. Nice. And I have no idea where that dude is. That's the problem. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where that stinky guy is. Nothing. Well, I think I found him. Buddy. Definitely found him. Ow. Stop throwing stuff at me. Woo. You're not happy with me. How about no? Never! Ow! Stop being a butthead. Stop throwing cars at me! And whatever that is. Stop throwing cars at me! It's not fair. I don't even know. Oh, yeah, no, I guess I do know. I can't get in there. Ah! Stop throwing cars at me. It's not nice. Okay. That's right, dude. You can't stop me. I'm on way to get to the lighthouse. Uh, okay. Great. Where's the phone? Oh, it's right here. I'm like... Waking up in cold sweat, being haunted by government spies, and loving it is not normal. Neither is losing your patience. Huh. Paranoia will eat you whole. Will it? Will it? Will it? You would know. 
What happened now on shore? Calm by George Avalos. Chief on shore, the lighthouse keeper suspected of setting the fire that consumed parts of Vickers Point. Continues to be a hot button issue. Alan's a pretty strange dude, but setting fire to his own house, I don't know if he's capable of doing something like that, said Frankie Nielsen, a frequent visitor at Icarus Point. An official press release by the Milton Haven Police Department asserts that Allen used a flare gun to start the fire, and that case is currently being investigated as a failed suicide attempt. This reporter, however, has his doubts. Why would Allen have a flare gun in his possession, an item more commonly found on ships out at sea than at a lighthouse? The U.S. Thanatos freighter at the crash site, water gets muddled even farther when considering Allen's call to the police shortly before the incident, which mentioned men in black going to and from the ship crash site at Patmos Beach. Did Allen see something he shouldn't have, or is this just a product of mental instability? A mentally unstable man's imagination. Only Alan Short can answer these questions, and he never, he may never wake again. Okay. Yeah, I think he saw something he wasn't supposed to. Thank you for the food. Okay, you can't open that. What are these locks? I had a nightmare where I went to the new superstore and a lady with blood coming out of her neck through glasses at me. I might have not I might not have been dreaming, it's unclear I haven't slept in three days. Okay, dude, you really need to sleep. I was in high school. I used to hide in a dark room. I was even in a photography club. The red light suited me. It was the key to my sanity. The door is all chained up. Can I take that red light? No. I think I saw a key right here when the red light came on. Yep. I gotta look for lights that are red. It's currently 4.49 p.m. and I am at Icarus looking out into the vast ocean. I'm sad. I don't know why. Sadness found a home in my chest. It moved in with all its stuff and lives there now. That is dumb. Doc said I shouldn't, that I should let it out when I feel like I have something to say out loud, but my throat hurts and right now I just want to say that I'm sad. I'm saying it and I don't know who this is for. I'm saying it to the ocean. I'm sad. There, do whatever you want with it. Yeah. Okay, we got two keys right now. Wondering if this... Oh, that didn't work. Oh, here we go. There we go. We have the three keys. The door is all chained up. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, here we go. Buoy key. A clock key. Key broke. All right. No. Change it like a light bulb. Go ahead. I can't wait to see it break in your hands. Dude, you are such a Debbie Downer. Real 
think it's going to break. I think what's going to happen is... That didn't of work. Of course, no power. I'm sure what's his name is going to be coming after me, so. Alan. Alan, I know you're down here somewhere. I need power to the lighthouse. Oh, no. As I say, you reap what you sow, finish what you started, Desmond. Okay. Inner has been showing signs of decay. Sometimes it if it's off after cleaning a push to help going oddly enough I can't relate okay Let's see I need more of this
Oh my gosh, run, run towards the light. It's okay, the ship, the fire, those weren't your fault. Yeah. Whatever this chemical is, it's gotta be the source. Braver than you know. You don't have to be, but you don't have Alan's to be afraid anymore. Just as suddenly as Virginia's did. I have no doubt their cases are linked. Oh my goodness. I need to follow the chemical trail. See where it takes me. That was crazy. Agent instructions are to take highly flammable containers of blank from the bay where the blank and move them indoors. No smoking flare guns or whatever. Yeah, I feel like it's not his fault. I'm gonna look around real quick because there might be more stuff. The snow. I saw that one. No, uh, I saw that one. That still doesn't open. Okay. Well, fine. Here we go. Okay. That just leads outside. Where's this lead? That leads to the other side. We're out of here. Listen to the tapes. You've reached the office of Dr. Desmond Wales. Please leave a message after the tone. Doc? Doc, are you there? Why would you be there? It's the middle of a goddamn night. This is bad, man. I, I don't even know what's happening. I just... 
Square Dock. I didn't even know it was supposed to come through. It's okay, dude. Put it in the logs and then the ship sank. I went down there. I, I wanted to help. I wanted to make sure no one was hurt. But man, I don't know. There are monsters down there, Doc. I swear. I can see them in the shadows. They move around when I'm not looking. They try to grab me into the floor, Doc. I'm not. I, I, I'm losing it. feeling that he wasn't losing it. Something tells me. At the end of this, we're going to find out that it was some kind of experiment. Someone must have dropped it. Gotta fight darkness with light. Can I not see it sooner? Gotta fight. Wait. They're here. They're here. The men in black. Weird. That guy Nygaard is here. I've seen him around. Around you, man! I, I gotta warn them, Doc! They don't know about the monsters! Gotta fight the darkness with light, man. That's crazy. Hello, cat. You're back. Good. I was getting worried. Things are starting to become unstable around here. How so? The ground is shaking and the water outside is rising. I know what happened to Alan. I know. I saw. How did Alan you see? Alan mentioned that driver you were treating. Max Nygaard. Classic bag of cats, that guy. There's probably a door to his house here as well. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Government conspiracy. Oh, yeah. yeah you're petting other cats, have you? Nope. Never. Watch the fur. I just licked it. Again with the pets? Yeah. Forever. Don't you have better things to do? No. I don't. All right, let's keep it moving. Nope. Oh, darn. Okay, I guess I can anymore. All right, whatever. This, oh, that's Virginia. Alan Short, diagnosed nightmare, disorder, phobia of the dark, schizotypal traits. Patients out treatment on his own, complaining of long-standing inability to be in the dark. And of reappearing nightmares in which shadows are moving and growing. He appears to be in touch, consumed by the shadows, born raised in Montauk, New York. Moved to NYC at 18 years old. Moved to Milton at 22. Patient has had persistent fear of the dark since early childhood. Nightmares may themselves be a manifestation of the phobia, strengthening it in the process. The obsessive need to keep the lights on was indulged by patient's parents, and it's likely the appeasement exacerbated the issue. Patient's parents were both avid smokers, both died from lung cancer within a year of each other. Alan was 16 at the time. He likely spent the two years leading he likely spent the two years leading to his moving out alone. Patient has structured his life around a need for light at all times, including operating and maintaining Icarus Point Lighthouse, leaving a previous job as a mechanic for the Pandora Hotel. Patient feels strange around others. Prefers mostly solitary lifestyle. Patient lives adjacent to the lighthouse. Can 
chant sometimes expresses excitement involving his phobia, enjoying the thrill of the ride when scared, possible masochistic tendencies, been at NLH after suffering near fatal burns the night of the ship crash. Mission comatose. All right. Meet you back here, yeah? Yep, now I gotta go and look around this place because there's other things I can do now since I now have the light. What better place to start than where we always start? The basement. Now that looks like... Oh, whatever, I miss that every time. I miss it every time. I oh. don't think that I need anything in here because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this was just to get that. That was just a boiler room. I don't think there's any dark spots in there. But there may be in here, you never know. This was to make the gun. This was that. Any dark spots in here? Nope. So it may just be. There may nothing be nothing down here. Well, I'll check this place just in case. Anything down here? This is where we started? Nope. Go to floor one. We gotta go back to his apartment anyways to see, um, to get the, uh, what's it called? The, um, disc. gonna be over here but we're gonna find out what is this that's no, not one things very times I've woken up here one okay we got enough bullets apparently down there.
Okay. How are we supposed to get up there? Here. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Oh, I get it. Okay, I was like, what? Time to woken up here twice. Last night I woke up to the sound of two men whispering outside my window. I peeked out and saw what looked like the feds taking pictures of the house. I quickly ran downstairs and opened the front door, but they were gone and now I can't sleep. Pretty sure that's what I saw, not for certain. Okay. So basically, I just look at these pictures to say the first thing that pops in my head. And basically, yes, okay, ready. First image, a trumpet player. Second image, a tall tree, maybe tower? Casting a long shower. A small sailboat out to sea. It's raining hard, maybe. Maybe it caught in a storm. Fourth image, boat, trippy. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. It looks like a black hole or like a sinkhole. Yeah, that's it. Sinkhole, unless it's bottom, I'm not. That one made me feel something, Doc. It put a pit in my stomach. Does that mean it worked the test? All right, we got the vinyl. Let's go. So these are two places that have the dark thing. Oh, is that a shotgun? It's too far for me to grab. Okay, that fell downstairs. Time to go downstairs. That's a shotgun. I want a shotgun. Give me a shotgun. Question is, where did it go downstairs? What down here? Fall down there. I look for where there's a laundry chute thing. Oh, maybe it did fall in there. No, let's check. Nah.
definitely didn't fall in here. Uh, okay. Where's this let me out at? Oh, right here. Okay, let's go check down here, see if it fell over here. Nope. Where would it have fallen? I don't know. I lost a freaking shotgun. That sucks. Oh, that sucks. check down here see if maybe it went somewhere down here Get a player in there, maybe. Only got one left, though. That's the only problem. Oh, players definitely did not work. I don't know where to go for that ventilation thing. Okay. This is frustrating, frustrating, it is so frustrating. Find it later. Let's go. Before I go in that door, let's go back up to the second floor and we'll go look in, uh, what's his name? Look, listen to the music before. I'm gonna listen to some music. I can listen to songs with this. Alan's song. I'm a little bit anxious. 
I'm a little unsure of where to go I'm a little kid swallowed by the shadows in the ocean And I know it's a little bit daunting It's a little bit scary when I'm alone It's a little bit dark outside when I'm uptight I call you on the phone When we hang up I stay awake for a while Wondering if what you say is true I am flawed but fixable When I manage to shut I Oh for all I know I might be slumbering Although I'd rather be dead on your couch In my bed, in my head, there's a light But it's red and I wander Till waters bend around me And surround me until I quit What's this shining at the far end of the road? Oh, I admit, I'd rather see the dark end of a tunnel than the fire Aiding. All I offer to give is a helping hand But I cannot see but two feet in front of me So try to understand If you're caught in a doorway And a fire is nipping at your heel If you're stuck on a sinking ship Enjoy your trip and pray it isn't real When I wake up I find that I'm hungry for more Unsatisfied, oh god I'm blue But it will all be alright if it wasn't for all these Uninvited visitors outside I'd say I'm having a damn good night In my bed, in my head, there's a light but it's red and I wonder till water's bend around me And surround me until I quit What's this shining at the far end of the road? Oh, I admit, I'd rather see the dark end of a tunnel than the bottom of the I'm in need of a captain Wish you were that for me today I'm in need of a wax and feather set of wings And then I'll be okay As long as I take off When the sun can't burn away my dream Don't know when I'll be back this way Perhaps someday, don't wait In my bed, in my head There's a light, but it's red And I wonder Till waters bend around me And surround me Until I quit What's this shining At the far end Of the road Oh I admit I'd rather see the dark end of a tunnel Than the bottom Tunnel than the bottom Sunk into the bottom Of the pit That was interesting. Second in album. Head, in my head. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Let me pet the cat again. <sighs> Even after all of this, I still can't imagine what Alan went through. Neither can I. Go ahead, talk again. Having trouble? Have you tried getting good? <laughs> oh, I love it. Be on the lookout for new toys to play with. Anything else? Having trouble? Have you tried getting good? <laughs> <laughs> 